Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. I should have posted this later because most people there in Hawaii are still sleeping. But as you know, I've been reporting about the magma flow coming up from deep within the lava plume from Palahala and up to Mauna Loa. What I have been watching for is shallower earthquakes indicating that the magma has now reached Mauna Loa. And it's now done that. We got a magnitude 2.0, only minus 1.6 kilometers in depth, which means this is above sea level. Another 1.8 minus 1.6 kilometers in depth. Minus, a minus 1.6 would be almost one mile above sea level. We got a 1.9. Uh, minus 1.5 kilometers in depth. A 1.3 minus 1.5 kilometers in depth. Now that was yesterday. Another 1.3 minus 1.5 kilometers in depth. A 1.8 minus 1.0 kilometers in depth. And there is a total of 16 earthquakes on this location all above sea level within uh, just the last oh uh, seven days or less and it's really increased in the last day in the last 24 hours so using google earth i marked out the mauna loa summit the vent and all these earthquakes you notice what i see all along the edge the rim basically of mauna loa I scanned the different news services there in Hawaii this morning, and they're not talking about this either. It's all about the coronavirus. This is important. We got magma on the move to Mauna Loa. On the East Rift Zone, there's been a few shallow earthquakes, not a lot, but possibly showing a recharging of um, this event system. It's currently 5.36 a.m. there in Hawaii, and I'll bring this over, and I'm going to enlarge this because I talked about this before, showing uh, the heat coming up, and this is the hydrothermal uh, power station that they're working to get it back online. And then I want to briefly talk about the um, Hilanina slump area. This here is a paper from USGS, and it says here how the... Uh, Helena Slump, south flank of Hawaii Island, is currently the most active deforming flank of any oceanic island worldwide. This is actively deforming area of at least 40 kilometers wide on the southeastern flank of the currently active, or it was back then when, when this paper was uh, published, of Kilauea Volcano. In 1868, and in 1975, this region moved abruptly several to tens of meters during major earthquakes of a magnitude 7.9 and 7.2, respectively. The tsunami generated in both 1868 and 1975 resulted in extensive damage and fatalities on Hawaii, and the 1975 tsunami produce major damage in California. The possibility exists that further detachments of this type or far more extensive and catastrophic debris av avalanches will occur in the future. The entire south flank of the island shows evidence for slumping and collapse. All these earthquakes that are happening at the summit there at Mauna Loa, they're not listing them as Mauna Loa, but 30 kilometers east of Nepapu. I'm sorry for pronouncing that wrong. Very deceptive. Using Google Earth, here we got Captain Cook. Yeah, there was an earthquake there just a little while ago. Let me go to satellite. Very deceptive in where uh, this earthquake is uh, occurring. Where, in fact, it, they're happening at Mauna Loa. Haven't any of the news services there in Hawaii noticed this? And speaking of that 
area, I found another paper on Hilo.Hawaii.ed about the uh, Hilanea slump. And we go down here to the west side story of the island. The west side of Mauna Loa tells a very different story than the south flank of Kilauea. The southwest quarter of Mauna Loa faces directly out to the ocean, like the south side of Kilauea. However, the large palas that are so prominent on Kilauea are absent on this side of Mauna Loa. Instead, this side of Mauna Loa is characterized by the unusually steep slopes with a pair of of arcuate cliffs on either end of the zone. And it goes on to uh, USGS surveys from the 1980s off the west side of Malaloa identified some very surprising deposits. Many parts of the submarine flank of Malaloa were found to have dropped off into the ocean, and the ocean floor at the base of these steep scarps were littered with blocks of rock that are two to three times the size of Kilauea's caldera. These deposits were found to distance of more than 50 miles away from the island. If you were standing on the coast and looking out to sea, the end of the deposits would be beyond the horizon. Dredge samples of the blocks and sampling by deep submersible mini-subs a few years later confirmed that these rocks had compositions identical to Mauna Loa and were not old sea mounds. And they have an image here of these deposits. Yeah, can you imagine the tsunami that those created? Pete Lippman came to surmise that this collapse took place between 100,000 to 200,000 years ago. It was a series of massive failures that took place on the southwest side of Mauna Loa. And they got a drawing of the collapse of Mauna Loa. And another drawing. I'll bring this down for you to see. And another image. It's so big I'm going to have to move it around for you. So we've got the Mauna Loa slides and the Helena slide. Now the one off of Mauna Loa seems to be a lot greater than the slide from the East Rift Zone. Just more good news, more things to think about. about. And that reminded me how 2020 is such an interesting year and seems to continue to be an interesting year. Revelation 16.20 then every island fled and no mountains could be found. And great hailstones, weighing almost a hundred pounds each, rained down on them from above. And men cursed God for the plague of hail because it was horrendous. And one more food for thought about the tribulation, the seven-year tribulation. I pray that God keeps his promise. In Matthew twenty-four twenty-two, it says, If those days had not been cut short, nobody would be saved. But for the sake of the elect, those days will be shortened. It is my belief that the seven years of tribulation is going to be shortened to three and a half months. So anyways, being a Christian, those are some of the thoughts that came to mind. Here's that earthquake that happened near Captain Cook. It was a 7.1 and it was deeper than these other ones. It was 8.6 kilometers in depth. But why are they not talking about the Mauna Loa earthquakes. We definitely now have magma on the move. Yeah, uh, a coming eruption. It's just a matter of time. And who knows how long until that happens. I just refreshed the picture for the East Rift Zone. And this is what it's currently showing. It's almost 6 a.m. there in Hawaii. We have a lot of friends in our community that are living there in Hawaii. And these are some of the homes, the people that live there on the uh, southwest side of Mauna Loa. Definitely sending prayers 
to all the people that live there. Um, if you have any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Always be prepared for a disaster. Please stay safe. And I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.